All right, so I wanted to make this video to show you how to use this Mute Fruit Modders Resource Plant by D. Ivanov. This mod is really good. It's going to allow you to put Mute Fruits in the game and you'll be able to interact with them and actually individually pick the Mute Fruits off of them. I really like this mod. I wanted to use it for a long time and for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to use it as a, like a standalone in my own mod without needing this as a master or something like that. And I figured it out recently and so now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, so let's get started. All right, here we are. We're gonna install our mod and we're gonna install the plant mod, all right? And then you're gonna copy all of the uh, meshes and textures from this plant mod and place it in your mods folder, all right? And if you ever get an invalid, inv uh, invalid directory when trying to do the models in Creation Kit, just also grab the contents of these uh of these meshes and textures and drop it in the game data directory as well and just leave it there temporarily until you finish the mod all right so let's go ahead and open the gek and then what we're gonna do sorry my screen is a little cut off here okay what we're gonna do is we're going to Click on our plugin, we're going to set it as active, and we're going to also check on this plugin, but don't set it as active. And then we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to let these load up. Okay, so once we have the GEC open, what we want to do is we want to scroll down to all, we want to hit all right here. Actually, what I should have did was type AMP in the search bar first and then hit all. That's what we're going to do. We're going to type in AMP. And then all of these uh, AMP <clears throat> plant, plant things right here, we are going to make duplicates of all of these. And like these scripts as well. Not the burning ones, just the, the other ones. Okay. So I'm just going to show you, just follow along. So AMP mute fruit static, we're going to change the ID. We're, go we're just going to put BB in front of all of them. And then when it says, do you want to make a new form? Just put yes. So we're going to do this to, to every single item in here. Yes to all. And the script oops not the script save the script for last then the plant right here go to bb yes i could jump ahead but i want to show you in exact detail i want to show you everything so uh this one All right, plant box. And the burning we don't need, the burning effect we don't need, these we don't need. We don't need those. And what else, what else is here? Okay, these. Oh wait, no, we already made duplicates of those. Okay, so I think we have them all box and everything except the script I believe okay so once you've made duplicates of everything what you want to do is you want to go over to the to the script right here and then you just want to copy everything, select all, and then hold control, press C. You want to copy that. And then remember that this is an effect script. So we're going to go to new. And then we're going to hold control V to paste that in there. And then we're just going to put BB. We're going to just put that in front of everything because it makes it so much easier. All right. And then we're going to change this to effect. And then we're going to hit yes. All right. That's good. And then now I believe there's another. 
script. Where's the other one? Is there another script? Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, this one. Yes. Wait, which one was that? Yeah. Okay, so this one. We're going to control A, control C. It's an object script, so remember that. We're going to go to new. And then we're going to go control V. Now, we're going to scroll up. And then we're going to change this to DB. And then wherever you see it, wherever you see this ID AMP is BB right here. Make sure I don't miss anything. All right, right here. This one as well. And I think that's it. You can also hold control and press F and then type in AMP. And then try to search for something. Uh, away. <clears throat> if it pops up and you see it's after you, your uh, letters, then it's most likely you covered them all. All right. And then I already renamed the script. All right. So we're going to hit save. And then we're going to close this. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into all of our duplicate items that we made. So it was... B A M P, and then we're going to click on these, and now we're just going to change those scripts. So this was the object script. We're going to change this A M P mute fruit static script to B B A M P mute fruit static script. All right, that's good. And then we're going to do it to the other one. This is the plant script. So PBAMP plant script. <clears throat> Ah, we never, we never made, we never duplicated it. All right, so. AMP. Plant script. All right. We're going to copy this. Going to go to new. Going to paste that in. BB. Hit yes. All right. Now we're going to go back to our stuff. Uh, which one was we at? Okay. AMP plant script. We're going to change this to BB AMP plant, plant script. <laughs> All right, uh, just make sure all of those things have your stuff swapped with it. <clears throat> AMP static script. Wait, wait, hold up. Make sure I'm getting the right one. Mute for static script, right? And mute fruit static script. All right. And then 
on the plant. All right. Make sure all of the scripts are replaced with yours. AMP plant script. Now we need to change it to BB. All right. And that one doesn't have any scripts attached to it. And then. Uh, okay, we duplicated that, but we didn't need to do that. And BB AMP plant script. And I think that's it. So I'm just going to double check again. Okay. Okay. Right. And yeah, everything is done. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit save. And before we even place the plants, we're just going to close the, uh, the creation kit. And then we're going to reopen it without the mute fruit plant. Because we want to check and make sure that that is not a master to make sure that we got rid of everything. And then, you know, just to make sure that it's fully standalone. All right. All right. So here, back on our mod organizer too, you can see that, uh, there's my plugin. And when we highlight it, if it shows it, okay, it should show the master. Oh my goodness. Why are you doing it? All right, there we go. Uh, enabled master only fallout three. All right. So the mute fruit is not a requirement as you can see standalone. So let's jump back into the creation kit. And we are going to load up only our plugin active hit OK and then wait for that to load. All right, so once our creation kit mod is loaded back up, <coughs> excuse me, we're just going to find somewhere in the world where we want to place these plants. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to find my NPC that I made right there. And I'm just going to put the plants right next to them because that's where I saved my game. So give that a little bit to load. All right. There we go. This is my NPC. Now, we're going to type in whatever unique ID that you put. For me, it was BBAMP. All right, now we're going to scroll down to all. And this is what we're going to do. You, we're going to grab these two plants right here. We're going to use this one and this one. All right now, you could just grab them and drag them down into the dirt. Or you could use this, <clears throat> this static plant box, which has like some dirt in it. And I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm going to use that one first. Just going to drop it in here. Hit F to drop it to the floor. There you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our plants. So I'm gonna drag in the first plant and I'm gonna drag in some of the first, uh, mute. It could, you could mix and match them any way you want, but I'm just gonna do one in one. So is this the first one? Oh, it is. All right. So we're going to grab this mute fruit. And then before we even drag it to the tree, right? We're going to make ho however many, uh, one of these mute fruits that we want to attach to this tree. So I'm going to use four for this showcase. So I'm going to click on my mute fruit and then I'm going to hold control and press D to duplicate it. And then I'm just going to do that again until we have four of them. All right. Now, once you have however many out that you want, 
And I know my freaking mouse is going to scroll back way more than I want it to. You want to hold control and select your mute. So I'm going to select this one. That one's already selected. Select this one and select this one. Now I'll scroll over to where your plant is at. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit that minus button that's right next to the zero key on your keyboard so we're gonna hit that and then you're gonna get a a menu that pops up it's gonna show all the mute fruits you selected and then what we're gonna do is click this set link ref actually wait i messed up click on your plant first and put it as persistent reference here we go all right, now I'm going to select these mute fruit again. Hit the minus key next to your uh, zero key. You'll get this menu that pops open. Set link refs. Select reference and render window. And then click your plant. As you can see, AMP BB AMP plant. Put do. All right, now the plant, the fruits are linked to the plant. So now I'm going to grab the plant and I'm going to place it the way I want to place it, which is in this. I swear, like grabbing stuff outside in the exterior is so dang scary. All right, so yeah, then we're going to grab our mute fruits. And just, you know, there's like some stem pieces hanging out. So you could just go ahead and, you know, drag them to where you want them to be. All right. So I just jumped ahead. I went and placed the second plant and the second mute fruits. Clicked on all of these, you know, linked it to this. And then I placed this one in the dirt. So we got one in the dirt, one in the plant block, in the plant box. I like that they gave us two different versions of these mute fruit plants. Uh, they, look, they look really nice, as you can see. So we're just going to hit save. And then we're going to jump into the game and we're going to test these out. All right. So here we are in game. There goes our two mute fruit plants. So we could go up to it and we can hit activate. And as you can see, mute fruit added and the plants, I mean, and the fruits actually disappear off the plant. All right. And then when there's no more fruits, you can't interact with it anymore. All right. And then we'll do this one. Oh, and this one gives you crunchy mute fruit. Look at that. So it knows the difference. And our guy is standing right in the way because I never gave him a sandbox package. Okay, my guy, move, move. All right, yeah. Can I get this last one? Get off my screen. All right, there you go. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Add the mute fruit to your game. Make it stand alone. It's a really good resource. Shout out to the author who made this. And uh, I hope this guide helps you. If it did, please leave a like on this video. And if you're still here, thank you for watching. Check out my other tutorial guides because I plan to make a lot in the near future. Thank you for watching. See you guys later. Peace.